What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we are doing a quick exploration of the Jedi Temple for Halloween. It is October 29th when I record this video. Not sure when it will be uploaded, hopefully before Halloween. But in the meantime, let's have a look around, see if there's anything of interest. I think uh, Glitch City is pretty interesting, or just Coruscant in general. That will probably be a separate video of just exploring for a couple minutes. But in the meantime, we have a bunch of droid scarecrows. It looks like they're in a Cad Bane type uh, costume, which is pretty neat. I like all the spider webs that they added in from the original. I wonder if there's any hidden bugs, or not hidden bugs, uh, hidden little uh, Easter eggs here. Lots of interesting little pumpkins here as well. I don't think there's anything up top I'm going to need to take a look at to really show off. But in the meantime, like I said, there's a lot of interesting areas where they added spider webs. And all the clone troopers are now skeleton troopers. They still do the same salute and all that good stuff. But I'm not entirely sure if there's anything else interesting out here besides the green slime type uh, Nickelodeon deal of a water fountain here. Oh, uh, let's see, anything else cool? Yeah, well, of course the orange and purple uh, stuff here is interesting, the signs. I do like the fact that they added in a little bit more of the darkness of it. Looks like we also have, you know, it's obviously dark outside. It's nighttime. I wonder if they are going to do anything interesting for the ho a Halloween event. Probably not, because, you know, everyone's busy nowadays. Is there anything else interesting over here to look at? Uh, just a bunch of pumpkins, and it looks like some more of the Scarecrow stuff. So let's go into the workshop first and see if there's anything of interest. I'll let this load and, and restart the video right after this reloads. Alright, so here we are. It loaded up and the orbs are also purple. They went from being blue to purple. Forgot to mention that. Figured I'd press the F1 button just because it looks a lot better that you don't have all the UI blocking it. I believe there is something a little different in here besides the, the normal Halloween stuff. I think somewhere there is a color, a more colored version of the Hondo Anaka pet. I don't see it in here, but it might be in here somewhere. Uh, okay, no, I'm, I think I'm, I'm probably thinking of the, what do you call it? Uh, the room, the officer's club. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't have to pause every time I do that. Alright, so now we'll go into the archives, see what's new in the archives. Oh, alright. Well, it looks like the archives are now a goldish yellow and orange color, which is pretty cool. We still have our tr clone troopers here in their skeleton uh, gear, skeleton gear. And then we have our cutouts here, these cardboard cutouts of Asajj Ventress. Which is always interesting. I don't think there's anything above that you really need to see, just a bunch of ho more Halloween stuff, obviously, of the pumpkins. There, I believe one's got the General Grievous face, the other one's got the Count Dooku face, and the other one's got a Republic symbol. And it looks like these are yellow. I'm not sure if they were originally yellow or not, but if they weren't, then it's a good call out. And are there any other ones that I need to see? I don't think so, but looks pretty neat. Hold on a second, I'm wondering. Is there anything up there that I need to see? Doesn't look like it, just from a, a bird's eye view. Now, I guess and the you, golden credit orbs are now a kind of orange color, which is pretty good. Those are 100 credits. Now let's go on into the main hall, so I can show you some interesting stuff in the main hall. I'll be there very soon after I go into the lightsaber construction chamber. Gotta show you something there first. It looks like in here it's it's a lot more of a red satanic color, which is actually pretty neat. I like that. Let's take a look and see if this green. Yep, this is green too. That's awesome. Got some orange, yellow, and green coloring. I wish this would stay around year round, and I like how they had a the little bit of a moonlight uh, sparkle coming in. And now let's take a look and see if there's any other cardboard cutouts in here. I'm not too sure. It looks like it's just the normal things of, uh, what do you call it? Of the pumpkins. And the spider webs, of course. Lots of spider webs. 
Alright, now we can go to the main hall because we did all the other areas. And now let's take a look and see if the main hall has some interesting stuff. Besides, of course, the clone troopers here. Let's see if there is that... Okay, the Scarecrow's not here. It's over here, okay. I always thought it was in the middle. So we have the Scarecrow droid as usual in most of these rooms. We also have ourselves the General Grievous cardboard cutout up here. In a way, he can actually pass for a gigantic spider. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, let's see, is there any other spider webs I'm missing here besides the ones up here in the ceiling? I don't think there is. Come on, let me get my 25 credits! There we go. Alright, looks like... Oh yeah, and of course, let's not forget the green coloration here. It's always looking interesting. Let's go to the lounge first. Let's see if there is anything of interest in here. Got a little bit of interesting yellow color, yellow purple colors, which is always good. Or orange. Orange purple, sorry. I always like the... Oh yeah, there's also the Asajj Ventress uh, pumpkins, which are cool too. Uh, let's see. I always like seeing these out of order, check back soon things. Uh, yep, still the cardboard cut out there, General Grievous and Asajj Ventress. Wonder if there's any other ones that are just like not available that we could buy. Oh yeah, of course yeah, there's a creepy crate guy. Can't forget the creepy crate guy. Happy Halloween! To celebrate this spooky spectacle, we're giving away three Halloween masks. Would you like one? Well, I already have them, so I don't need to get them. I do like that they add in the, the smoke effect for, for the masks. Alright, let's see. Anything else interesting here? So waiting for Cartoon Mayor to come back. Would love to see that come back very soon. Alright, uh, nothing too interesting besides that. Uh, too bad the, the guards there don't have the uh, co costumes. That would be pretty cool if they did. Alright, let's see. Are there any other designs here that I should look out for besides the normal stuff? I always do like seeing this. This one looks like a much larger version of it. That's good. And then once again, you have your Grievous and the Sage Ventress cutouts there. And we have some more orange and purple colors in here. Doesn't look like there's anything else too much of interest. I wonder, is there the... Uh, what do you call it? Okay, looks like he's not up there. Hondo Onaka's uh, stupid, stupid pet's not up there. Oh well. I thought there was one up there at a point. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Who knows? And now let's go to the next room. I believe that'd be the war room? I'm not entirely sure. But you know, along the way we're going to grab some of these credit orbs. So if you just hear that background noise of me grabbing it, that's just what it is. Now to the war room. Yeah, the war room I'd say probably doesn't have the most design, but it's still got the skeleton clone troopers and the cutouts and what spider webs and all that good jazz. But I do like the main hall the best probably. The main hall in the area where you first enter when you first launch the game, which is the outside there, the Jedi, Jedi Temple, I think it looks the best. Nothing too interesting to really see in here. Let's go to the hangar. Hangar is also an interesting place. I, I personally like it mainly because you can look outside and see the see the darkness. Hey. Uh, too bad they don't have any Halloween jokes. And I don't think there's really any much designs up there besides, of course, the standard... Uh, what do you call it? The cobwebs, spider webs. And then, of course, really nothing too much outside to see besides the normal gear. If there was some more gear out there where it came to Halloween, that'd be pretty interesting to see. And there's really nothing above here I have to get on my speeder to show you. So, overall still looks pretty neat. Let's go over to the training room, I believe it is. Yes, training room. Good thing I can still remember that. And training room is another interesting area where it has a lot more of a dark feeling to it. 
Uh, let's see. Anything interesting besides the usual? I hope Saber Strike come back soon. I really like Stray Saber Strike. Uh, let's see. Yep, it's just very much more of a darkness feeling in here. But we shall take a look around. Oh look, we can get 100 credits over here. We're gonna do that. Oh yeah, the giant uh, spider web here. Now I'm just noticing the... Uh, what do you call it? The artwork over here. Oh, okay, that's them doing push-ups. I was hearing that and I was thinking, what the hell is that? It's just, uh, push-ups. I do like the designs overall here. I wonder, is there anything up here? I think there's a, some designs up here in the lightsaber dueling ring. Uh, yep, we have some... We have the orange type color here. I like that. And I believe that's about all I have to show you in the Jedi Temple. I'll, I'll pause the video here, and if there's anything else interesting, I will show you that. Alright, so there wasn't anything else to really see. I checked all the other combat zones, just in case they had their own little Halloween twist designs, but they do not. The only other thing that I might sh show in a separate video is just which city it, during... Halloween. Other than that, uh, we're about done here, so thank you all for watching this Jedi Temple Halloween exploration, and goodbye.